Speaking of libraries, there's a chance a bunch of them could just go away if a group of Meridianites get their way. In about an hour, those living within that district will get their a chance to voice their opinion on whether the Meridian Library District should be dissolved. And can libraries just dissolve like a scene from an Avengers movie? Well, a group who calls themselves concerned citizens of Meridian gathered enough signatures, 93 of them, they believe they can because they believe the Meridian Library District provides books and other materials on their shelves targeting to, targeted to sexualizing minors. They claim the library is contributing to the, quote, sexual indoctrination of minors and the board members refuse to talk about it. But we are here to do what we can to ensure that the library conforms to the wishes of concerned citizens of Meridian, especially responsible parents who want to protect their children from the Marxist indoctrination that seems to be sweeping our country. We believe that this insidious growth that's happening in our world must be stopped in its tracks. And one way we intend to do that is by restricting the kinds of subversive materials available to our children in our libraries. Today, our libraries have permitted evil influences to enter its premises. By evil, I mean the increasing influence of the, sat of the satanic community's belief system. All right, well, this isn't a new topic, and it isn't isolated Idaho either. The attention on libraries across the country has magnified in recent years, continuing to spill over into community conversations, even political campaigns. Supporters of the library say parents, not the state, nor a small group of citizens making big accusations, they should decide what their children get from the library. It's really sad that a, a small group of folks are willing to, to dissolve the library, shut it down completely, rather than let families make their own choices about what, they're, what they want to read, um, as they've done for nearly 100 years. We have communicated. We've met with them. We've shared the tools that they can use to monitor what, what their children are checking out, how they can find materials that fit with their, their interests and values. Um, we have shared that the thing that they are seeking, which is restricted access, people not being able to access the books that they want in a public library will not withstand a First Amendment challenge. So you can expect a big turnout tonight in that meeting, just about a half hour now on the first floor public hearing room at the Ada County Courthouse. After the hearing, the Ada County Commissioners, they're going to decide if they're going to put it on the ballot, that decision for voters to decide. Again, this is just for those who live within the Meridian Library District. If you don't live there, well, then you don't get to say anything.